Hello everyone and welcome back at long last. It's been a while since uh, I've been playing this game, but uh, let's go in. It's Crusader Kings 2, a game I haven't played that much as of yet, but I have experience off camera, so... But this is the Charlemagne expansion pack, which is new, um, and um, we're gonna go in blind kinda, because uh, honestly, I, I've just installed it, so... The things are different already from the bat, so you can start choose where you start. I'm gonna choose, of course, the earlier start because that's where the main Charlemagne stuff um, takes place. Um, yeah, um, there you go. It's like a whole whole new thing going on where you explain fall of the Western Roman Empire, la 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 la. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the custom game setup so I can at least see what's going on. I hope it's not too loud, actually. So, let's see, things are different already, so I'm just gonna take a look at it first, um, to see what's different, because that's always very interesting, and then go in. I'm gonna assume I'll play first as King Carl, so Charlemagne himself, I think, oh god, there's a few of them, and I'm pretty sure it's this guy, the guy of West Francia, which is, well, this is West Francia, yeah, there you go. Okay, so, uh, this takes place in 769 which is like a big difference in her 69 um, let's see uh, religion what's different about that well it doesn't well there's this thing going on which I don't know what that I mean my Fizites have a bigger territory this Jewish guy is still there uh-huh yeah there's a few things a few there's my Fizites my Fizites here excuse me Zunists here Zoroastrians a lot more of them uh, yeah, interesting, interesting map. Le less Tengri, Manichaean here. So yeah, there's some differences. Um, and Germanic instead of Norse. This is interesting. Oh no, no, it's not. They're still Norse. Oh no, they're Germanic. Yeah, it's, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Cultures, I guess, must be different. Um, Frankish, Occitan, Visigothic. Wow, that's that's different for sure. Uh, pretty sure it's Webby. Physicotic, yeah, see, there's differences. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I think it is anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm panning it quickly. Uh, but let's not wait too long. Let's get into it. Let's play as King Carl, because that seems to be obvious. Let's play it just like that. And then let it do its own thing. I hope it's not too loud. I'm going to check my sound as soon as I'm g I get out, just to be sure. So I'll pause it to check the sounds, because you never can ever be too sure. I'm always afraid that it's going to be a problem. And uh, after that, we'll just um, get into it. All right. Oh God. Yeah. Let's check the sound because it seems quite loud. Be right back. I think it's manageable. I put it down a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think it's manageable. So here we are. This is us, King Carl of West Francia, and our brother is Carloman of Middle Francia. So if we kill him, that means that we inherit. No, we don't. Ah, oh, darn it. So we're in the we're in the worst place here. But we're no, we're not even youngest. Oh, we're in the worst place. Why? Why? Okay, sure. Uh, and we have all this stuff. He has all this stuff. And uh, let's see. Maybe there's different empires to be formed, like Francia, of course. Germania, Wendish Empire, Germania. This, yeah. Let's see. Scandinavia, Britannia. So I think this is relatively samey. Um, kingdoms, maybe different. Aquitaine, Burgundia. No, it seems similar. What's this? Middle Francia. Yeah. So. No Lofringia or stuff. Okay. Maybe that's just a different name under a different culture. That's possible. Uh, we are Frankish, of course. Our brother is Frankish as well. And yet, there is so on and so on. And let's see. Uh, these guys are all Frankish. Yeah, never mind. I just wanted to see the Physic Guardian guy. Let's see what that means. But they don't. Yeah, there he is. Physic Yeah, that's strange. But I mean, yeah, it's interesting. Sure, I bet it is. Titles, ruler, or married. No, let's get just get. Let's just get into it. Let's get married first. Uh, we are diligent and zealous. That's it's not that much, to be honest. But our stats are pretty darn good. I mean, they're they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So first, we'll get married. See what we can do here. Uh, there's the Byzantine Empire. She was born in the purple, and she is iconic last. Oh God. Um, let's see. So we do like the whole genius thing and try to get something from that. Like, let's find character that way. Search all. I like doing it this way. Sometimes it doesn't really make a difference, but sometimes it might. And then, you know. Uh, 
I guess my religion group must help and see if you have a genius in there. There's you. See? If we can get to marry you, that'd be pretty darn nice. So, please marry me. Yes. That's... That, that, that'll hurt, but that's fine. I mean, I'm thinking kind of long term here. I don't know. I'm just playing it as I'll, I'll normally play it. And, well, we should get married first. See, I'm jumping into this and I, I should have... <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so let's see. Let's do a few days and see what happens. Um, we can create, create a lot of duchies and even a king of Phrygia, which we shouldn't do. Because I'm assuming... Let's get the prestige back, to be honest. Um... Because I'm assuming we're still at Gavelkind. Yes, we are. Ignatic, even. Okay. Okay, sure. If you could kill his kid, does that mean we'll be the heir? I think it would just mean that. And could we? We couldn't. Oh, could we kill him? We couldn't. Oh, man. They thought of everything. They thought of everything. So, let's see. Um, we have a strong claim on Middle Fran Francia. And we have on the... Empire of... Oh, so yeah, so we could claim the entire empire and we could... I mean, that should be the first kind of goal. Claim his kingdom, Middle France, Francia, and then... Yeah. Oh my god, that's really little troops we have. they have. And we have actually quite a lot more than that. Should we already declare war? Like, that seems too easy, but that seems like it's feasible, to be honest. But if you attack him, he might get, like... Things from his vassals, and I, I got got if I know, you know, just because this guy doesn't like us, he hates us for some reason. Okay, well that's not that's not gonna change, is it? I mean seriously. Oh, there's new choice decisions. Okay, powerful king, sure he's uh, found a new empire. Wow, that's that's interesting. So you can create. Artificial empires now. Find found the Holy Roman Empire, which is yep. Um, we should try to do that. Maybe that'd be interesting. Uh, and yeah, otherwise, there's just the basic stuff. Should go on a oh, go into hiding. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay, so we can now go into hiding. Um, yeah, yeah. Send you. In. Oh, I can send my wife into hiding. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, it's different. And now I can legitimize kids I have, apparently. I think I can send my kid, Pepin, into hiding. Is he actually my kid? Yes, exactly, he is. And he's a hunchback bastard. Okay, maybe not. We'll see what our beautiful, beautiful wife can do. Pictish. Wow, she's exotic. That's great, exotic. She's shy, but, you know trusting so you know whatever um, yes let's play let's see uh, we got married and then let's see what ambitions are available I'm as well very much your church you exalted among men uh, nothing well, I mean yeah let's 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 be exalted among men I mean that's why not I'm really tempted to attack this guy already but that might be terrible for gameplay you know what let's just let, let's do it I guess maybe Oh god, because uh, you are not at war, you can currently call any vassals or allies to war. What? What's this? Wait, so if I do this, what's it do? A call to war for all of my vassals? I don't know. Well, actually, most of my strength is from my vassals, and I would assume... That he... I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know what that did, to be honest. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm calling all of you to war. I don't know what that means, but... You know what? Just for the fun of it, let's see how we can game this by attacking him immediately over Little Frank here. Or we cannot. You can afford to... Oh my god! <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, so I guess we got ourselves into an issue here. Okay, so that's interesting. As your father Pepin died, he divided the empire of the Franks and left one half to you and another half to your brother. 
He divided the land in such a way as to force you to cooperate, but does not appear to have had the desired effect. The friction is constant, and at every turn it seems your brother is trying to thwart your plans and weaken your position. You will rule as joint kings, but surely this peace cannot last. He will not succeed in his vile scheme. Oh god, we're rivals. No, why? So, uh, good thing I didn't, like, put any effort into you. We're rivals now. I see. And he is my heir, so he definitely is going to try to kill me, isn't he? Yeah. So yeah, so I guess that's how the game goes. That's how the game is being played. Okay, so we are trying to form this great empire. Our dad was probably a great person, but he kind of like, yeah, screwed us over. Um, yeah. Well, uh, apparently. Yeah, by trying to get us to cooperate, but for some reason my dad is going to be like an ass about it, and you know. Elective succession. That might not be a problem, to be honest. Why, why are these people... Why, why do they hate me? You hate me for no reason. You... Why... What's your opinion? Why is your opinion like that? Foreigner. Oh, God. You're French? Oh, you're French. You're actually French. And you hate me also because I'm a foreigner. Oh, you just hate me. There's just hate going on right there. So this guy, we could maybe... Let's see. See. Mm, I don't think that's gonna be a thing. Uh, I don't want to invest that into it. Even if he asks for elective, honestly, that might not be a bad thing. Actually, you know, might actually um, ensure succession. Your mother has come to see you. She speaks to you of your brother and the rival vi rivalry between you. My dear Charles, it grieves me so that your brother Carmen will not support you as he should, but rather has wicked designs on your domains. Rest assured, however, that I shall do all in my power to help and support you. I have even written to him, asking him to cease his plotting and uh, plotting what? And acknowledge that through through the realm is a fire between you, he recognized you as the primary ruler of the Franks. I fear, however, that he will not listen to me. Thank you for your support, Mom. And I am hoping that is actually like a genuine support, not like uh... Oh, I'm the favorite! Yes, mom, I love you too. Let's get you married to a person, right? That'd be nice. Let's, let's maybe not. Who is... Who's claimed as these titles? So, oh, that's interesting. There's now this thing where... Uh, your son Pepinus lives in the midst, but perhaps he would grow into a man worthy of ruling the Franks. His body twists and looks frail, but a boy that overcomes his unfair punishment in life, perhaps... With time become an even stronger ruler. Um, oh god, that'd be terrible. He'll be known as the hunchback. Should I leg legitimize him? Mm, but then he will be my heir. Unless if it goes to elective, which might be possible if this faction fires. The other one is independence, so that's terrible. Um, oh god, I, th I think not. Oh boy. Step in the hunchback. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. I hope I don't die now, because that'd be... Oh my god, I'm stupid. I have need not even like a point at my court yet. And that's stupid. That's really stupid. Okay, so why, is, why does everybody hate me? For no reason. Okay, sure. I will scheme. But that's... Okay. Mm, let's train troops, I guess. Um, collect taxes for now. Yeah, scheme. You don't hate me, right? That's that's great. There's anyone better than you? No, there's not. And it's good. Okay. Okay, that's so that you scheme. So nobody's trying to kill me. Is there any religion issues? Nope. There doesn't seem to be. No, there's here. Uh, yeah. Let's pr proselytize that one. Sure. Why not? Or should we like try to improve relations with the Pope? To be honest, no. He does like us, kind of. He likes us. Yeah, that's good. He likes us enough, I think. How much? Oh, there you go. He's already freaking rich. He's already, like, ridiculous. Hmm. You know what? Let's try to do that. Uh, arrange marriage. You want to marry whom? A courtier of mine to some guy. Is that, like, gonna give us an alliance? It's not, is it? It's your son, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's not. It's just a random person. Yeah, just sure. Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Aha, uh -huh, so there you go. Scotland. The Scots. Um I know for sure my brother's gonna kill me and that's gonna suck, but you know, uh we can't like excommunicate like my brother, that'd be great. Oh the fifty piety. Oh god, that sucks. Oh that sucks. <laughs> I shouldn't have married that woman here. Uh she must 
give me like a genius kid, otherwise I'm gonna be so angry. Yep. Yeah, if I die, a strong claim is gonna be worthless, because it's gonna... Did my daughter... No, she didn't die, it's my dad who died. Never mind, I'm being paranoid about stuff that's gonna happen, because this guy is gonna screw me over. Um, dude, you can press claims. Yeah, we should, we could try to, like, attack these guys for no reason. Should we, like, try to, or we could expand into the Umiyot territory, become strong that way, and then we could kill our brother easily, but they're strong, relatively strong. I mean, if we could, like, get a holy war going, which I don't know if it's a thing we could do. Then we might, maybe, like, hmm. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm just trying to see what we can do um, to get Middle Francia back and then form the Holy Roman Empire for some reason. And, you know, there we go. It, that'd be, like, a great thing, you know? And dynasties, yeah, we're all Carlegs here. Oh, this guy as well? Or is that, that's me as well? Yeah, that's me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I said nothing. I said nothing. These are technically not mine. So does that, uh, is that a problem for inheritance or? I don't think it is, right? County, county. Do I have my? How, where am, how, my, how are my vassals arranged? They're pretty scattered. I see. Uh, and we are in Fermat. Dwa. We don't even own Paris. Strange. Um, and everything's like. Yeah. Let's see, this is part of the Duchy of Valois, which is this. That's a terribly weird duchy, and part of it is like Paris, and that's our brothers, so that's gonna be kind of annoying, but sure. Your mother comes to see you. My son, I have... My son, I have worried! This pie must have come up back. Ludberg doesn't seem to have your best interests in mind. Uh, and you when executing the task of an officer, in me. A danger to my rule. You're right, he has to go, or I shall not get rid of him. Oh god. And then... Oh god, and then my mom will hate me, otherwise Spy Master will hate me, but my mom... No, I will not get rid of him. He's the only person I can actually like trust a little bit. Like, let's give him like, ugh, too much money. Ugh. To be honest, I do kind of trust you. I kind of do. Uh, do you like me? You like me. I'm not gonna try to kill like imprison you that seems like a bad idea who is this guy you're trying to kill here let's see you're trying to kill oh okay sorry you're trying to kill this guy seriously I don't even care I really don't care oh you're his heir oh, that's interesting okay sure let's get some like Diplomacy going on where we try to get everyone in our realm to be you no know, not genius women that, that'd be nice as well, but um, ooh, People who are not my culture Who are not my culture there you go uh, Let's see is there anything like uh, They're just counts apparently nothing Oh no, any. Yeah, the married one as, as well, of course. Oh, of course. So there's any. Yeah, him. He is German. He should be German. Let's see, we can get his heir educated. Let's put him as a special interest, so maybe eventually we'll be able to educate his kid to become proper Frankish, right? Yes, let's. Uh, yeah, he's not my culture. Not any culture. See if there's anyone not my religion. No. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay. Good. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you get the realm in a good position. You probably should move fast. Oh, uh, I'm afraid the faction I represent must insist on elective monarchy. We are fully prepared to take up arms. See, uh, what should we do here? Honestly, I think elective is not a problem. So, bam, there you go. Because if we have elective, we could just choose our brother to be, which honestly would unify the realm. Actually. Let's. I mean, does that is that is that like a feasible m way of doing this? Like, if he kills us, we become him, and that's like legitimate. So we'll unify the realm under our brother, and that's my choice. 
I think I think that's that's feasible and it seems very very much feasible so let's do that let's choose him for now until we have like a decent son because of course our brother's not as good as our kids would be I mean our genius boy is gonna be born like right out of her when she starts like doing stuff um, yeah legitimized pep in the hunchback oh god it's terrible oh let's go on it oh my god no it's not that much money let's go to pilgrimage and um, Let's uh, stop the recording here for now, I guess, because, yeah, this is how we got into it, and we'll see what we can do. There's a lot of things going on, I have to see where I find myself and see what I want to do, but I think it's going to be interesting, because there's a lot of different mechanics at work here. We're trying to unite this old empire and, you know, bring our dad's glory back, under us, of course, or our brother, if that's necessary, but it's all for uh, the... Glory of the Carlings, yes, and I didn't check that because I, I knew, of course I did, of course I did. Okay, thanks for watching anyway, and i see you next time.